My name is Jimena Juarez and I own Dalinger Aesthetics. I have so much passion for this because I love making my clients feel good. I'm Jane Simmons and I have a medicinal herb company called Sister Sage. I put a lot of my soul into it and when someone appreciates it, it's just, that's why I'm there. <laughs> that is exactly why I do it. My name is Abdul Mohammed. I'm the owner and founder of Dooley Salsa. Dooley's is originally my grandmother's recipe from East Africa. What I love about what I do is the reactions we get from people. I'm from Bogota, Colombia, and I've been in the United States for 12 years. I served the United States Navy for four years. Once my contract was over, I um, decided to go to aesthetic school. And after that, I wanted to find a job really, really bad. I couldn't. So I said to my husband, let's open a spa. We just didn't know where to start. We really didn't. I had been told I could get into the Pike Place Market, and so I was kind of worried, like, I can't make enough because I don't have enough money to make enough from what I can grow. I started Dooley's in 2012 and just didn't know what I was doing. In my second year of business, I was able to find ventures, and I think that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Ventures works with small businesses, entrepreneurs that have limited resources but unlimited potential. We work with clients where they're at, and it's a wide variety of things that we support clients on. Our clients have an opportunity to sign up for a BDT, Business Developing Training Program, and basically is divided in marketing, financials, and operations. After that is when we really are very unique because it's an ongoing support, so clients can have access to advanced services. We had peer groups. I went to the law clinic to find out about copywriting and trademarks. I've had three loans, and each loan it gets a better rate. Before that, I didn't have any business credit at all. They've helped me with everything from licensing to branding and just discovering what kind of business I was. Being an entrepreneur is challenging, and more when you come from another country. 30% of our clients are in the Latino program. My husband and I both speak English, but we just feel more comfortable in Spanish. And the fact that it's available, that just made us so happy because that just shows that there is opportunity for us as a minority to grow. For the last nine years of my life, I've been committed to this work because I see the results. We're taking all these low-income entrepreneurs out of poverty. The whole community will be in better neighborhoods. That's where Ventures exists, to help all these communities to get empowered and move out of poverty. Ventures help me, I help my clients, my clients help others. It's all a circle that it just, it goes around. I honestly think it's uh, time and money well invested, and I really hope more people take advantage of the services that Venture has to offer, and especially the Latino community. They give you the confidence to go from just uh, the small one-man operation to feel like you have a team behind you, feeling like you have someone that you can really rely on. Our clients just draw you in with their stories and their ambitions and their hopes that you can't help but just be 100% behind them and so excited for their success. Ventures was the push that we needed to open our business. I credit everything to Ventures. My grandma would have been extremely proud. I don't know what we would do without ventures. Keep doing it. <laughs>